the issue of climate engineering and semantics are important. The, too much of media and other officials, not saying this board, they've been very courteous, but have not used the scientific terms, and this is this is not used for a reason, because uh, the the term chemtrails is not a scientific term, so we try to avoid those terms. But when you see CBS News, geoengineering to fight glo fight global warming is now mainstream topic conversation with all scientific organizations and with governmental officials, such as. John Holdren, Obama's science advisor, who is actively advocating for the use of geoengineering. And again, this is, these are aspects that media does not cover because this would legitimize this issue. This would bring credibility to it. So we do have, again, science data that's it's too extensive to document here, but when we have current administration officials advocating for these programs and the immediate need to implement these programs, this subject should not be marginalized as it typically is by media. When we have, this is, this is from MIT, this diagram is from MIT where you clearly see an aircraft spraying particulates out the back. Now, again, this is mainstream scientific discussion. We have every major science institution talking about these issues right now, that, that these programs must be implemented. And so again, when what we ask is that this issue be given attention and our point here today, irregardless of where the contamination is coming from over Shasta County and the rest of the globe, we ask that the science be looked at and, and that the legitimacy of this issue be acknowledged with the science terms, that this is brought to public attention and brought into a public dialogue. This is, again, only the tip of the iceberg for what's available for documentation. This is a 40-page congressional research document, Geoengineering Governance and Technology. There's a, a number of documents like this. We have, even going back to the 60s, for example, we have 80-page presidential documents outlining the scope and scale of these programs even back that far. We see skies like this. Certainly, we have a lot of people telling us this is normal commercial traffic. <laughs> this, is, this is normal protection and as i've stated over and over in previous shows federal gag orders previously on all national weather service and NOAA employees because our government certainly does not want the population to wake up to the fact that climate engineering highly toxic devastating climate engineering is going on above their heads every single day and when i hear from those people who convince themselves that if this was really going on these agencies would speak out how in the world are they going to speak out what an absurd notion that these people from these agencies are going to be lining up to make their voices heard when they lose their jobs, their retirements, or much, much more.